talk! you want? I'll tell you everything. Good. Who is it? Please. Who? Bolin. The courier's name is Nancy Bolin. Ah. Bolin, Richie. Don't worry. Did you hear? Richie, everything is gonna be just fine. <laughs> Ty. <laughs> hey, hey, animal! <laughs> you gotta understand, animal. <laughs> Job is over. I'm gonna pick you up. Fuck you. She's with me. I'll kick your hey, fucking ass. Fuck up. Come on. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Really sorry, boss. Uh, we were just having a little fun. I hope it didn't get out to hand. Fun, know. huh? Well, did you manage to uh, get out and look at the ranch? Yeah, uh, everything's taken care of. Good. Now, I'll tell you what I want you to do. All right. Russian? Yes. Get boss. rid of these fucking broads, will okay. you? Okay, come on, girls. Move it, move it. Come on, hurry, hurry. Hey, you too. Mm. Come on. Get your on, that's... <laughs> now, you got a complete layout of the ranch. Every square, everything, every you square know inch. it inside out. I swear, thoroughly, I do it you sure? Positive. Every square, everything, every you square know inch. it inside I out. Swear thoroughly, I do it you sure? Positive. Every square, everything, every you square know inch. it inside out. I swear, thoroughly, I do it you sure? Positive. Okay. Square, everything, every you square know inch. it inside out. I swear, thoroughly, I do it you sure? Positive. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna kidnap the kid. But I want you to leave the mother alive. I don't want any witnesses. To hey, don't worry, boss. I'll kill them all. Come <laughs> on. You keep an eye on him. I will, boss. Who's out of taste? And if they get close, another half of the waste. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
wake up call, Mr. Lane. Uh, no eggs this morning, please. I'll take my coffee by the pool. <laughs> ah, we made it, huh? And Mom always said you were slow. She's right about that. Thought you were gonna wake me when we hit the city limits. <laughs> you were sound asleep, besides. God, you drove all night. Travis! Lisa! Mom! <laughs> oh, what you got? Oh, you look great. Oh, God, we didn't expect you until tomorrow. Oh, we made great times in Oklahoma, New Mexico. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, ah. look at her. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, my, how you've grown. It seems like only yesterday that I said goodbye to my, my little granddaughter. It was three years ago, Grandma. Well, it doesn't seem like three years ago. <laughs> Oh, gosh, you're just as lovely as your mother. I'd like to think I had something to do with it. You <laughs> did. I got your feet. See? Hallelujah. <laughs> what do you say we unload this heap and grab a shower, huh? Oh, that'd be heaven. All right, let's go. Oh, Travis. Yeah. Your father and I would like to... It's okay, Mom. I understand. What's going on up there? Oh, they're having a funeral today. A little girl who lived in that house was killed two days ago. How did it happen? And she was shot to death in one of those terrible drive-by shootings. It just happened two blocks away. In this neighborhood? Travis, things have changed since you've been here. Security at Gold Crane Incorporated. Name's Tony. I must say it's an honor meeting you. I've heard a lot about you. May I? No, I don't think so. I thought my arrival was a secret. I was sent by Randolph. Look out!
Uh, they're heading for the island. Got it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just getting good, eh, Miss Bolin? Well, that was quite a welcome. Just one question, Tony. Do you mind if I call you Tony? Split. Okay. All right, then. Tony. Do you mind telling me where in the hell you're taking me? Stay down! Anyone's guess. You all right? I'm fine. Andrew. <laughs> Sweet dreams, Miss Bullock. Sleep tight.
Damn. Come on, through the window. Come on, hurry. Out the front. Come at you.
What the hell was that for? How about for letting me think you've been dead for the past three years? Okay, I can understand that. Now take it easy. Did you ever think that uh, maybe there's a reason why I was letting you think I was dead for the last three years? Oh, yeah? <clears throat> All right. You know the last operation I did for the agency? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three dead agents, a lot of innocent people. All because of Bolt. The terrorist who strikes like lightning. Well, he nailed me, and he nailed me good. And I've been looking for him ever since. Mm. You son of a bitch. Let's go. Yep. Hey, boss, we got the kid. Your husband owes us six million dollars. When you get it, walk on Hollywood Boulevard near the Chinese Theater, and we will see you. Any police, and you will never see your kid again. Oh, God. Well, oh, no. what are you going to do? Hey, Deb, how's business today? Hey, how you doing, Turk? Give me one of your best. Why didn't you keep that? It's on me. Ah, uh, you go ahead and take it. No, I you keep it. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, why don't you keep this warm for me, okay? Okay, whatever you say. I don't know, but I sure feel sorry for the people who have to deal with him. Him? Who is he? He's Turk. Turk? Who's that? He's a cop. Hey, you guys. What's happening? Hey, Turk. The manager of the hotel called and said that three men are holding a married couple in a room. Near as we can figure, it's a rape and robbery in progress. So what the hell are you guys waiting for? Lieutenant Maxwell's coming. Oh, yeah. With what? The fucking cavalry? By the time he gets here, they'll have raped the guy, too. Come on. Hey, easy. It's all right. Hey, you understand this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want? It's a fucking manager. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is it? <laughs> fucking
Do something, will you? Look, mister, I know this guy just fucked your wife, but he's our prisoner now, so how about backing off, okay? Sir, wait, please, let us have him. The law's gonna punish him, okay? Your law, he has dishonored me. My law says his life now is mine. I phoned Dad while you were in the shower to let him know you're here. Is he coming home soon? No, he can't get away from the store. Well, I guess I might as well walk down there and get it over with. You're off to a fine start, going off in an attitude like that. Why should things be any different than they were before? Because that was three years ago. We're all a little older and hopefully a little wiser. Travis, he misses you terribly. You know, Terry liked your father very much. <laughs> Terry had a soft spot for kooks, romantics, God knows what else. She must have. She married you. Now, go see your father and be careful out there. Ma, it's my own neighborhood, right? No, it's not, Travis. Not anymore. appreciate it if you wouldn't sit on my car. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, that's all I got. Blow it out your ass, money corn. <laughs> <laughs> my father taught me to uh, appreciate the uh, property of others. The lesson you obviously missed. Now get off my car off to teach you to respect the hard way. Oh, ye mighty corn. Move it like his goddamn ah. arm. You don't know who you're messing with, man. Yes, I do. I'm messing with two retards. We're about to get an ass full of boot if they don't stay off my goddamn car. Got it. Later days for you, Maricon. Expect to see the twin of that coin first thing tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. When hell freezes over. Still a shrewd businessman, I see. Son, my goodness, I didn't expect you till tomorrow. Yeah, we made pretty good time. Mom's home cooking up a big supper. I uh, thought I'd walk home with you. Well, that's nice of you, child, but I've got to stay here and keep this store open. Look, can't you leave with the help? Well, there isn't any help. I had to let my extra man go three, four months back. Travis, I'm sorry as I can be your mother and I weren't at Terry's funeral with you. If I'd had a choice, I would have missed it, too. We've been handling some hard times, son. But the important thing is we're together again. With you here now, I know we can turn this thing around. What? You know what? We had the same argument three years ago. But I thought that... But... Dad, I appreciate you taking us in, but I'm not interested in running the store. I'm construction foreman. That's what I do. I'll find work in my own trade. But you have such an opportunity here. Opportunity? Have you taken a good look around here lately, Dad? This neighborhood is going down the toilet. Uh, Dad, I'll, uh, I'll come back after supper and happy post. Dad. Now let's get straight to the point. You don't know who they were, what they look like, or where they took you. And they have a case which you were carrying, which may or may not be the real computer. That it, Ms. Bolan? 
That's just about all I could tell you. Miss Bolin, in case you weren't listening, you've told us absolutely nothing. We've got zip to go on. Don't forget they drugged her, Leo. Now then, Chin, I want you to take some men to meet Hudson down at the airport. And Chin, I don't want anything to go wrong this time. No more screw-ups. He gets in 11.20 a.m. flight 40A. And Chin, if anything else goes wrong, I'll hold you responsible. Don't worry, Mr. Randolph. I'll be there. The white zone is for the immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No parking. The white zone is for the immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No. Your attention, please. Flight 148 now arriving from Amsterdam at gate B4. Flight 148 now arriving from Amsterdam at gate B4. <laughs> Move. Arriving passenger E. Carson, please pick up a white courtesy phone. Arriving passenger E. Carson, please pick up a white courtesy phone. Get ready. They're out. Stay with them. Your attention, please. This is your final boarding call for Flight 429, now departing for Los Angeles, gate E3. Flight 429, now departing for Los Angeles, gate E3. Take it easy. All passengers should be on board. Is 
Si Chen? I thought you had it. Look out! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Two down, one to go. You did pretty good for a dead man, old boy. <laughs> Three people are dead, one officer wounded, and McKay is still in the john, puking his guts out. You're a fucking maniac, Turkey. Look, Captain, I was just trying to use some common sense. <laughs> well, well, did you hear that, Lieutenant Maxwell? Probably, would have, well, well. Maxwell, we're going to close down the forensics lab. We're going to close down everything. We don't need them anymore. We got a fucking clairvoyant on the force. God damn it. If you had waited just a little longer, Lieutenant Maxwell would have arrived. Nobody would have been killed. With all due respect, sir, now who's being clairvoyant? God damn it. Don't you play smart ass with me, Turkey. I'll bust you so low in the department, you'll make the word failure a bad name. You got that? Yes, sir. Captain. You should have waited for me like you were supposed to. You were late as usual. Get the fuck out, Turkey. Out! Hey, Turkey. Come get your hot dog. Hey, is that thing still hot? Yeah. yeah. Hey. What's with the girl over here? She's a little upset. Her son got kidnapped. Yeah? Kidnapped? Kidnapped, huh? Hey, put some mustard and ketchup on that for me, okay? Okay. Hi. How you doing? Hi. What's the matter? Hi. What are you crying for? <laughs> so what's the problem here? Three days in a row I came here and every day I come here they tell me nothing. I want my child. All right, all right. Calm down. Now look, you made the report. You got to give the police some time. They'll find him. What was the officer's name you reported it to? I don't know. Some guy named Officer Maxwell. Max? Oh, shit. Great. I'll tell you what. Let's grab some coffee. Yeah, let's go sit down and talk about this so much. Come on. Why? Well, we'll get it all worked out. Okay, hey, thanks a lot. Hey, you have a good win too, George. Oh, you want one extra cream, right? No, I have okay. enough, thanks. Oh, okay. Let's go over this from the top now. From what I understand from uh, the note the kidnappers left behind, they think your husband still has six million dollars that belongs to him. I don't know. That's what I understand too, but you see, I couldn't find my husband. He left me a year ago. Do you have any papers, documents, or anything at all that we can use to investigate his whereabouts? Yes, I left everything with Lieutenant Maxwell. Good. Tell you what, Jaguar, get the file off of Maxwell's desk and make a copy of it for me, okay? That's what I thought. Right. You better be behaving yourself, boy. I got my bad dog here. You're gonna watch that window, that window, that window, and that door. And you've been giving us nothing but a bad time. And I don't know how long you're gonna stay here because of your damn father. But if you get out of line, he's gonna eat you for dinner. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I'm just sick and tired of you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, go, go. Wow, right, let's go finish the game. Damn, we're babysitters. I can't believe it. You understand? Yes, sir. Louder. Okay. Let me give me a hand. That was Lynn. Gina. Come again? I said my name is Gina. Actually, it's Angelina, but everybody calls me Gina. Well, that's a, that's a shame. What do you mean? <laughs> Angelina's such a pretty name, it's a shame not to use it. Gina, 
Luna. Ahora. Who are these charming gentlemen? The one on the right is Jesus, the king, president of the Hammers. The Hammers? Who are the Hammers? I have to go. That guy who called you, who is he? Your boyfriend? He's my brother, Chato. Adios, Travis. Gracias. De nada. Hector, it's like I was telling you, Senor Lane here, he's our friend. But have you talked to him about it? Several times. Well, I'm like you told me, things have changed around here, right? Take Dad and get out of here. I have eyes, I can see. But we've lived here nearly 40 years. Your father's not about to leave just because some garbage trash has moved in. Mom, please, do me a favor. Take Dad and get the hell out of here. I'll talk to him, all right? Grandma. Grandma, why don't the police do something? Because nobody will stand up to them. Nobody will even testify against them. Even your grandfather believes that if he minds his own business, the hoodlums will let him live in peace. It's rent time, old man. But I paid you Saturday. And we back again. Jesus don't know no rent control. So no, ma'am. Why? You don't need the money from a little store like this. Why do you do this? Why? Because we can. Hey, it's simple, old man. You live in America, you pay taxes to the government, see? Well, now you live in Hammerland. And you pay tribute to the king. Oh, I just don't have it. It's your fault. People are afraid to walk down the street. How can I make a profit? You'll get the money when I've got it. Hector, get the door. Do I have a little talk with Senor Lane here? Conference time, man. Hey, watch where I'm walking, man. You're all over me shit. Sorry I don't have any time to help you clean up, huh? Well, hey, watch out. It's all, amigo. What's that all about? Nothing. Nothing? Then uh, what's this? Just dropped a couple of bottles. All right. Dad, are the hammers leaning on you? Look, I told you it was nothing. I thought you came down here to help me close up, not to play 20 questions. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Trav, I didn't mean to snap at you. Forget it. Hey, look, if you really want to help, there's some cases of beer and he's stacking against the far wall of the cooler. I'll keep that. I can handle this.
be honest with you, Miss Bolin, I'm beginning to lose my confidence in your abilities. Mr. Randolph, I'm still here. That means my operation isn't over yet. Ha! I knew it. The first two were sent just to smoke out the opposition. It's a pity about Chin, but now we know the truth. He'll be missed, but he can be replaced. So much for team spirit. Well, let's get on with it. I don't know what the hell happened last time. Someone should be there when she walks out of the building. You have my word on it. Huh? Yeah. It'll be done my way. Don't worry. When the time is right, we'll kill the bitch. Give me a beer. Tang and seven guys are waiting to follow her. I want you to take care of this personally. She's the only one with the code to open a case. I want her healthy and alive. We need her to open a case without blowing us up. So don't fuck up. You got it? Mm-hmm. And now it's time for you to keep your promise. It's no problem. Your mom already gave permission for you to go. Thank you, Mommy. Mm-hmm. All right. But be back by 9 o'clock. Okay, Mom. I promise. Don't lose him. Charge. Oh man, this is gonna be ugly. Get in! Get in! Get in. Oh. <laughs> Bull, we lost him. What? Yeah. How could you lose him? It wasn't our fault. I can't believe, it, man, you lost him! You idiot! <laughs> come on, dog, come on. I want to talk to you. Please, come on. You're kidding. Listen, I like dogs. I have me, you know I have me a goat, but when I get out of here, I'm gonna get me a dog. Dogs are better. They understand better. You understand, don't you? What's your name? You must have a name. I wanna be friends with you. I've got to get out of here. I wanna play with you, and I wanna see, but I have to see my mom. You're going to help me, aren't you? Oh, there's some rough here. Hey, Jay, can you pour me a little spot of that? You got it. Oh, by the way, this is for you. What's this? Joe Fresno, kid's father. Oh, yeah? What'd you find out on him? Well, it seems like after the death of Big Alberto Daniello, three of his soldiers robbed his widow, walked away with six million dollars. <sighs> Your Joe Fresno helped him to carry it away. 
Mrs. Daniello, she filed a complaint, but three days later she withdrew. Oh, <laughs> bet your ass she did. I mean, if the mob's involved in this thing, they sure as hell don't want the cops in on it, right? That's right. You know something? I don't think we got a case for the police here. Hmm? What? Fact. I'm beginning to get the picture now. <laughs> I'm beginning to get the picture. When Joe Fresno double-crossed his buddies, and then he skipped out with all the loot. That's what he did. And then the three bodyguards of Danello's, they just uh, kept looking around until they finally found her and the boy. You know something? Huh. She told me that Joe Fresno had a a cousin who was a championship wrestler. What's his name? Samson. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to find. I mean, champion, Samson. <laughs> Let's go look for him. Cheers. Hey, cheers. Yeah. Here's to finding my boy. You want to see me? Yes, I did. I'm Rebecca. Joe Fresno's wife. Rebecca? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Joe talked a lot about you. How are you? Very well. These are my friends. This is Johnny Turquoise. How you doing? Hi, turn over. How are you? How you doing? <laughs> this is Jaguar. Hi, Tiger. We need your help. I need to find my husband, Joe. I don't know. Uh, Joe doesn't want anybody to know where he's been. Yeah, well, look, this boy is very sick. Now, we got to get a hold of him. The little kid wants to see him. Well, for his wife and son, here's the address. You stay here. Jaguar and I will take a look.
hold your pardon! I know how to reach them. We'll get Stevie back. Then let me help you. Who the hell are you? I'm a friend of hers and I want to help. Now let's go get the money now. Let's go get the money. Wait a minute. It's not that easy. I need three days. I can't wait three days and Stevie can't wait three days. I want my child now. Maybe, maybe I can get back earlier. When I get back, where can I reach you? She's gonna be at my place. Travis, look this way. Travis, I still think you should let us take you to look, the hospital. Look, I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. I can't remember anything about these guys. Something that might identify them. I didn't get a good look at them. All I heard was something about hammers. So you're Travis Lane, who played for Marshall High in 68, huh? Travis Lane, we used to call you the passing lane. Hey, you were a streak. How come you didn't play college ball? I was drafted by the Army. What was your specialty? Urban warfare extractions. Well, you're sure as hell behind enemy lines now. So what are the chances of catching those rat fuckers? Slim and none. This is Hammerland. Without a definite ID from you, we got zip. All right, you're done. How about I run you over to the hospital? I'm going home. I'll take you. Yeah, that was five days ago. Look, are you guys interested in looking at the property or not? Because if you're not, I'm calling another broker. This afternoon? You're sure? <laughs> yeah, I'll be here. <sighs> I have a choice. Charge it. What? Charge it. I have a charge here. Andrew Dobson. Just check on the account. You'll see. Andrew Dobson. 
and uh, Mr. Twist. Mr. Twist? Very same. Full of fight, ready to fuck. <laughs> you must be Travis, ain't you? Yeah, that's right. Hey, your dad showed me some pictures. You and he good friends? Dad was my only friend. Next to Mr. Twist here. Your dad was a real dreamer. Figured you and he could turn this place around and make a going concern of it. Yeah, well, that was his dream, not mine. I just want to get my family out. Yeah, I don't blame you. Them sons of bitch and hammers, they ruined this area. Them and those greasers that have been moving in here lately. By the way, still get my charge? As long as I'm in business. Um, me and Mr. Twist Tank. Oh, Mr. Yeah, Twist. Excuse me. You're right with you. Hello again. You have some nerve coming in here. What? Where are your boyfriends today, huh? Who? The hammers, those pieces of shit you hang out with. They're not my boyfriends. Look, I don't want you in here, all right? You and your friends just mean trouble, so get the hell out of here. Comprende? I want some cigarettes. Hello? Hey, what about my cigarettes? That's your chance to steal them, right? Who's this again? I thought you promised me somebody was coming out here today. You do handle commercial property, don't you? A high risk area? <laughs> you think so? What? Hello? Hello? I think I want to sell the place, you dumb son of a bitch. Shall we dance? B-2-1, 
BT-1, Blue Team, I. Bravo Tango, Foxtrot, X-ray, Mark. Position, X-ray. Five to the meatball. X-ray, Mark. Team Charlie, I, BT-1. Ah! Bravo Tango 1, contact inside, wait for the ID. Stand by. Code name. Bowen. All right, Captain, we have our contact. Let's set them down. Bravo Tango 1, wait, you have it. Channel 2 is the call. 2 is the call. Channel 2, Mark, BT-1. Put it down smartly and soft. Split the group decoy. Deploy the arm personnel at the marker. Mark. BT-1, wing post and port control will continue mission as planned. Bravo Tango Team. Charlie Mike. Charlie Mike, BT leader. Mr. Williams, let's go. Going in. Nice to see you again. Likewise. Let's do this, shall we? Here's your ride. We'll go back over everything later at Gold Crane. Bye. All right, I'll see you there. Hey, what the... Damn kid, he doesn't even want to eat either. Oh, 
give a shit if he wants to eat or not. The only reason we need him alive is for the money. If he doesn't eat, he doesn't stay alive. Who gives a shit? I figured a way to get out of here, but I have to unlatch that latch. Are you gonna help me? Thank you. Closed. Hey, but for my regular customers? No games tonight, amigo. We're here on business. You guys aren't with the welcome wagon, are you? Funny man, you open up your mouth again, I'll cut your fucking tongue out. You see, me and my associates are here to explain to you about the rent. See you on Hammerland, amigo. And that means you pay rent to the king. The king? Right. And we're here to collect the first payment. What do I get for my money? You get to keep your face. Be cool, amigo. You don't want no trouble like the old fool who owned this place before you. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. God, Travis, what happened? Uh, it's the visitors at the store. The hammers? You didn't uh, try to fight them, did you? What else was I supposed to do, Mom? But you know they're gonna try and get back at you for Why'd that. Why'd you tell me Dad would give him protection money for those punks? Because he was too proud. He didn't want you to know. 
Oh, Travis, you've got to promise me that you'll stay out of the hammer's way. Dad tried to stay out of the way, and look what happened to him. I know, but that's... I have my own way. Mom, I have to do this my own way, please. Okay. Hey. What's say, Susan? I don't business. What the fuck happened to you? If we went to go see that new store owner, like you say, and he'd jump us, man. He jumped you? So you put the white boy down, right? The dude was fast, chaton. The fucker had some moves. Blades in the hospital, man. The dude broke his fucking arm. Who was he? Fucking Rambo? Pussies. Hey, there's just one other thing, chato. Hector say he saw Gina today. That's right. Talking with this dude in the store. Pretty neat trick. You guys ninjas or something? Heard you got some moves too. Yeah, well, I don't like to brag, but uh, I did take tap lessons to the fifth grade. Yeah? Well, I got some moves of my own. Make sure you listening, white boy. Yeah, I'm all ears. It's just me, but I'm having trouble following his arguments. Fall down, man. It's the only thing that'll make Hector happy. Pick up that shit and get stepping. Follow those homies. We'll be back. Keep that up, you're gonna become a hero around here. Something tells me I'd be better off. I just let that punk knock me down. Uh, maybe, son. But it did me all the good in the world to watch you clean that dirt ball's clock. You must be Miss Bolin. Mm-hmm. I'm Captain Jack Leroy, head of internal security. Miss Bolin, security is more effective when all the operatives are informed of the details. Captain Leroy, may I call you Jack? Sure. Jack, I'm sure that there is a leak in Gold Crane. So, by changing the meeting place and time, I could throw off the opposition. Mm. Well, look, let me tell you something. Your thinking has left us with some dead unknowns and a dead courier. You've lost three cases. The two dummies and the real one. A minor setback? A minor setback?
One thing we have in common, Sarah loves to shop. Let's go to the toy <laughs> shop first. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Take a look and see what's over here. All right. What's your favorite color? I like that. Sarah, do you like this one yet? Yeah. Nice. How about this one? No. I don't think we're having any luck today. What do you say? Let's okay. go. Okay. Come on, Sarah. I'll buy you a hamburger. Good. I'm starved. Maybe you'd like me to buy you a new car. Is that what? <laughs> yeah. I bet. Nancy! <gasps> <Mancini! Mancini! laughs>
Hey, don't worry, boss. I just call spaghetti. The kid's hurt bad, but he's not dead. Thought I didn't have it? Well, here's the damn money. All right. Now listen. You and Rebecca stay in the boat with the money. According to my arrangement with Feliciano, before handing him the money, I have to see Stevie. Hmm. Just to wait for you here, huh? Don't forget, you're my brother-in-law. Right. Hey, don't worry, babe. I'll get Stevie back. Everything will be all right. Hey, Spaghetti! Spaghetti! Come here! Well, what do you know, Joe Fresno? I'm gonna call the boss. You son of a bitch. You thought you could get away with it. Where's my son? Hey, Spagatine. Yeah, boss. Take this sucker to see his kid. Come on, sucker. Jesus, I wish we brought some help. No, no, please. Just give him the money so I can get my child back. home, Stevie. No, I hate you. You left Mom and me. I'll explain everything later. Right now, let's just get out of here. Not with you. I'd rather die right here than go with you. Son, I'm sick. I've been sick for quite some time. I have blood cancer. Sometimes, Stevie, it hurts very much. I'm in real pain. So I had to take drugs. I drank too much. 
You see, Stevie, I never told your mother about my trouble. She just thought I was some kind of bum. We started arguing all the time. Fighting. So I had to leave. I risked my life to make some money for you and your mother. Stevie, I never expected anything like this to happen. If you really loved me, you could have come and seen me once in a while. I did. I came to see you Christmas Eve. I was outside the house watching you through the window. What? I even got you a present. I put it upstairs in the attic, in the storeroom. Is it still there? It sure is, son. Okay, I forgive you. I'm gone for one day. Can you turn our streets over to an outsider? My streets! What the fuck is the matter with you, homeboys? You like to call yourself hammers? You like to write your names on the wall? Throw up a hand sign? But none of you will bust a grape for nobody. Get this fucking shit out of here, man! Fucking all get Shut up! Shut up! Somebody pointed a gun at you and fucked you up, homies. You can't have that, you see? Now, I must make an example of this man so that people will learn not to be disrespecting us. Are you down? What about the old man? Especially the old man. Great white knight rescues little brown princess. I'm trying to apologize. Yeah? For what? For yesterday. And I wanted to thank you for the uh, flower on the car. It's no big deal. It was to me. What do you say? Let me give you a hand. Jesus, what's in here? Family laundry. Oh! Well, they made out of lead. You must be out. Join Santa Claus. Why don't you step through the trap in here? Right over here. This is home, huh? Easy to go. Come to Hammerland, white boy. Just going to talk to him. Gary. 
him a little. Make him listen. We did scare him, Gina. We scared him right into the hospital. You've been hammered, friend. I don't think we're gonna have any more trouble from you, are we? No, I don't think so. Let's leave him for the people to find, so they know what it means to challenge and rape. Get away from me. 